the remains of a car after it has been blown up by a so-called IED, an improvised explosive device. No, this is not Afghanistan. This is the rugged landscape of Iceland. Here, the former US base in Kevlavik forms the background to the multinational bomb disposal exercise Northern Challenge. The purpose of the annual exercise is to train response to real-life terrorist incidents involving improvised and military explosive devices, similar to those found in Afghanistan, Iraq and Lebanon. This year the exercise focused on developments in Afghanistan. We are building a device that is similar to the devices they are, they are dealing with there and that is the main purpose of this exercise, to do the guys better uh, equipped and, and also better skills to deal with the things in, in these areas. Teams are rigorously tested during the exercise and incidents are deliberately challenging. After all, it is far better to make mistakes during training in the world of bomb disposal. When you go forward, uh, you have a lot of things in their head. You think uh, about your own, what have you learned, is it the right way? Uh, um, you have talked a lot with the team and uh, I think not every, every IED is not the same. Yeah? They change so much. Yeah, I have to look what I see on place and then I have to do my work. During the Second World War, many areas of the Icelandic countryside were used as firing ranges and exercise areas for all types of weaponry. Since then, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD, has been a national necessity in Iceland. Now, the Icelandic Coast Guard Bomb Disposal Unit is the main organizer of the exercise, in cooperation with NATO and partner nations. I hope to learn that I can learn here from uh, the experience from all the nations here, that we have a lot of small talk with all the guys who uh, stood in Afghanistan or Iraq. And uh, that experience uh, I hope I can take with me to Germany to my guys. Northern Challenge provides pre-training for bomb disposal teams that get deployed to international missions. But before being able to practice dismantling improvised explosives, the teams have to make some IEDs themselves, to become aware of what they might face during the mission in Afghanistan or elsewhere. We make it as real as we can. We, we, all the devices we have made here are made uh, after the devices that have been discovered in these areas we, we are dealing with. And they are all working. Of course, there's no explosive charts on it, but we have a small sound unit. Like if the team does something wrong, then, then they will hear it and, and so on and so on. And so we, we do it as real as, as it possible. As 70% of insurgent caused casualties are caused by improvised explosive devices in Afghanistan, it is crucial for explosive ordnance disposal teams to have hands-on experience tackling that. It's very important because uh, this is killing most of our people in, in, in like in Afghanistan and Iraq. It's uh, IEDs that is placed under the roadside bombs and something like that, or, uh, like you hear, hear in news every day in early. And uh, so it's very, very important. After two weeks of detecting, disarming and clearing IEDs in Arctic weather conditions, one thing is sure. The warm fire. The lessons learned in the land of fire and ice give the EOD teams more ammunition to combat terrorist bomb threats around the world.